Okay, so welcome to Regular Girls, everybody. Welcome. I would like to start this episode off by first of all saying happy September, September 1st officially. I know, I can't believe summer is done. I'm so excited for summer to S a D and get out of my life. Really? I'm over it. Really? It's too hot. Ah, I mean, where you are in Toronto, it's actually lovely right now. Yeah. Um, but in Vegas, um, I went out the other day to go pick something up. I, oh, I went into Subway after working out. And the guy's like, hey, it's finally starting to cool down. I was like, yeah, you're, he was actually right. It was 100 degrees out still. And we're like, wow, it's really getting breezy out here. That's insane. That's too much. Like, that's crazy. I'm over it. I don't even want to look at my pool ever again. I'm over the whole thing. Um, and secondly... <laughs> Um, I would like to um, make a public apology to, to my friend Stacy McGonigal. To me. Be- yeah, because we didn't get to hang out when I, I was in Toronto. I know. That's fine. And so here's what happened. So I had the shows Monday, Tuesday. Yes. Um, and then Wednesday, I met yes. up with one of my girlfriends for lunch, met up with one of my other girlfriends who's going through a lot of things. Oh, no. Um, met up with her. Uh, she's good. Um, but I met up with her after. But on Tuesday, I was so, I'm just so over being on the road and being in a hotel room. And I get I know, it. I know that for all of September, I'm home a shit ton and I'm so excited about it. That's great. Um, You and I were just talking before we hopped on that like today is just dedicated to a lazy day and it's amazing. Yes. Um, but I was at the building. I was at the um, Air Canada Center, now known as the Scotiabank Center, Tuesday. And I was like, I just want to go home. And then I looked up on Air Canada and there was a direct flight at 8.50 p.m. on Wednesday for $180. I had to take it. You take it. I had to take it. And it really made a difference to be home for more days. I feel like a kajillion bucks. I'm really, I mean, I, I get it. I get it. I was like, go home, girl. Go home. Fly. I know, but I was sad that we didn't get to hang out. And it's fine. You know what else I was really sad about was that I didn't get to like let you see my new glasses in real life. I know. I <laughs> I know. Those glasses are so beautiful. And I um when I first messaged you and was like, What's going on? I was shocked that I wasn't given a direct shopping link to also yeah. purchase them. And I was like, God okay. damn it. She's keeping Then this I'm gonna the radar. I'm gonna get the link and I will send it to you because you, you need to have them. I must. Obviously. I must. And like I love these glasses, but yes. they are also like a very you pair of glasses. Thank you. I mean, like I'm, I'm open to twinning with you. I'm just going to openly yes. do it. Yes, let's do care. it. It's just an exceptional pair of glasses. Um, they look stunning. They're quirky as all hell. They're perfect. As soon as I put them on, people are either like, oh, those are cute, or they just kind of like look at me for a little bit because they're a lot like they oh. there's nothing subtle about these things when I wear my glasses <laughs> I want my glasses to enter the room first yes I agree let yeah. them go they're here they've got something to yes. say I yeah. can't see anymore let's just let that be known it's okay now let me tell you I did go to raw I'm pretty sure I sat in front of your family um oh probably because I think everyone was sitting together yeah yeah and I didn't want to be like hi like I didn't want to be like that person oh God, and be totally like, sh- like my family I know here. they would love it I know but I my was mom like, my mom loves any and all attention that's brought upon her she loves it she lives for it I really should have done it but I I literally was like I sort of dressed in theme and I went full Diane Keaton I wore a <laughs> plaid blazer and um a regular old Which shirt is very in right now <laughs> yeah and then this photo was sent to me from uh one of the listeners of our pod um and there's a photo of like Finn uh, uh, Baylor uh, just like kicking in the air and I'm underneath like with, <laughs> in my f- fucking blazer <laughs> and I was like yes Diane Keaton is That's in the it. building and here we go it's perfect now, um, speaking yeah. of Diane Keaton yes I just watched um, her new movie book club is it um, good no I mean it can't yes be. and no it, can't. it was fine it, it was but okay let's just also circle back to the fact that I'm at home and I just want my brain to do nothing. So that oh was God. the perfect movie for that. But brings me to my next point of that, yes. like, we know Diane Keaton styles impeccable, but she sure. just looks incredible. Watching her in this movie, she has, like, you know, mid-length, um, like, blown out blonde gray hair. Oh, yeah. The best, like, button-down shirts with a blazer plus a scarf. I just hope that, like, that's what I want to be when I'm older. That is, like, my – she's my dream goal. I mean, I, I haven't seen Book Club. Um, while you've been watching that, I have been frying my brain with Vanderpump Rules. Okay. Um, but 
uh, I feel like the book club, without seeing book club, I feel like it's just Diane Keaton flailing around a kitchen going, woo, woo. <laughs> sort of, but she gets like swept up by this pilot that wants to take her on it. So it's like, they're four friends. They all have a book club, blah, blah, blah. But they all start reading 50 shades of gray. Right. Um, and Murphy Brown's in it, who I still oh love God. Murphy Brown. I, th- I think she is great. Um, and she's like a federal judge in it. So she's very uptight and, uh. Anyways, they all start reviving their love lives. Um, That's I fun. watched it. Here I am. This is what I do on my time off, you guys. Murphy Brown, which I can't remember her real name. Candace. Candace. Um, Candace. I was just – Bergeron. Yeah. I don't – Right? Is that correct? That's not right. Tom Candace, Bergeron is the host of – Candace Bergen? Um, Bergen? Yeah, is B, it's something like that. She hand paints Hermes bags. Ruins what? them. Yeah, you, if you follow her on Instagram, she just hand paints these twenty thousand dollar purses. I don't follow purses. her on Instagram, but I will. Oh, she's Candace, like Candace Bergen. Yeah, she's a wackadoo. Oh, with without question. Yeah, 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 and yeah, I, yeah. But she pa- hand paints these bags and sells them, and I love that that she's that insane. Um, I you know what people that just want to like I mean okay so I've hand painted my own overalls but I'm not selling them to anybody. Oh my god, so we, that's a different story. We haven't even talked about that, have we? No, I don't think so. They really turned out. Uh, They really turned out to the point where I was like, I need you to hand paint me some overalls. I'll do it. I'll do it. It took me no time. Um, And they they really worked out. However, I've worn them a few times and now they're kind of like stuck in the back of my closet only because. So I actually need to bring them on the road with me because I haven't sealed in the paint. So you have to seal it in with um, with an with an iron. And I don't have an iron at all. I guess I could just go buy an iron. Go buy (laughs) buy an iron. (laughs) <laughs> yeah okay i'm gonna go buy an iron today <laughs> how and do i'm gonna you seal not- them because i also need a new hair iron so i'm gonna get a clothing iron and a hair iron yeah how do you not have an iron why would i iron at home when i have a dryer i mean touche touche and I- also when i'm home i'm just in sweats i never wear anything that needs to be ironed at home never no me neither really me neither i have no use for it um i've thought about buying a steamer yeah but i'm just gonna buy an iron what is it 20 bucks i'm gonna buy one <laughs> today's the day i'm getting one today's the nearly, day renee nearly gets to the iron. point of my pants and, and you know what other craft projects who knows when i'm gonna need it you can get a small craft iron great if you're, that's yeah. all i need yeah go to michael's i need to seal in my paint because otherwise when i wash my overalls they will uh it'll all come off but yeah i bought so i bought those overalls at uh sorry not at free people i was mimicking ones from free people right um i, I bought my overalls from forever 21 Bought them like several sizes bigger. Yeah. Because um, that was just the look that I wanted. And just bought some uh, acrylic paint and went to town. It was great. See, here's my thing. Because I love overalls. I have an overall skirt that I I wear. Um, but I'm like, am I, can I pull it off? Because I have. Yes. Oh, my I, God. Are you kidding? What? I have boobs that really, I, I need a very particular overall. Like the front panel needs to be a bit wider. Or my oh, boobs so I actually will fully I actually them. got a pair that have quite a large panel in the top, like almost I, I don't know actually I feel like it's too large and like the it just covers too much that they're like not cute. Yeah. Um, just go to Forever Twenty One. I bought mine for I like will. twenty thirty bucks, and they just they have so many different kinds. Um, it's the move. It's the move. It's the look. I love any. I've never met an overall I don't like. No, I mean that's true. Every time I see them, I, even though people go, "Oh, maybe you're too young or too, you're too old," I'm nope. like, "No, you. Everyone looks great in an overall." I'm. I agree. Maybe we're on the wrong side of the argument, but I'll take it. I'll take it too. And I don't. I don't think that there's an age limit on overalls. And if you're somebody that wants to put me in a corner based on my overalls, then we don't need you around, anyways. Absolutely not. Um, I sort of had an evening where um, last night I went to a concert, which I feel like you always go to concerts. No, I haven't been to a concert in a, in a dog's age, my friend. Okay. Well, here's a couple things. I went to this like local band at this small bar and okay. I felt, I had a great time. They were amazing. I did turn into a, who, yeah, were, um, who were, what were they called? They're called Pudding. <laughs> oh my God. That's adorable. <laughs> And they just like were doing covers and maybe originals, but I don't know. Listen, I'm Aunt Stacy. This is new for me. Um, <laughs> they had to put a little tick on my hand, and I was like, "What am I?" Um, 
to, but, to say that you were of age? Is that what it was for? No, I don't know. Just to or say that, that I, I bought a shit? ticket. Okay. Um, but it was like full brass. They had brass band. They had like keys and drums. Like they had the whole thing. And I kept saying, um, this could be on the radio. Um, <laughs> professional musicians. But um, here's the thing I want to ask you. When you go to concerts, because I don't know if this is uh, a, any, that anyone would care about this, but um, what do you do when people just like push and shove you to a point where you want to tell them to like get manners? Like, oh, you tell them to get manners. You tell them that they that's not that's not allowed. Also, it sounds like a band called Pudding with a Brass Section is not the kind of band that you're pushing and shoving at, <laughs> right? I mean, we were dancing a bunch, like, but there was like, just was these, it like, like ska music or like like was there they, like a circle where people were kicking funny? Because that's they, a different pro- like that's a different party. Well, like there was a bunch of different vibes going on at this concert. Like I was sort of like the lean back, having a gin and soda sort of vibe, yeah, moving my hips sure. side to side. Isn't this great? There were people being like, "Look at me dance. How." good good can I dance oh no one tall guy who was like seven feet tall pushed to the front stands in front of me and just starts doing an Instagram live come on why do people do that I mean he did have like probably a nice height vantage point if he was working for the band perhaps to like get a good angle it was like that's crazy it was a tiny little bar but I also felt like very uncool and I don't know how you do it because it takes a while. Oh. I really needed a seat at a second. But it was a oh, stand. That's, I, I love a concert that I have a seat at. When I went and saw oh, really? Radiohead, I was thrilled that I could sit down and just watch the show. Thrilled. I don't like yeah. being in the mix of it. Like, I want to stand at the back. First of all, I want good access to the bar. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, and I want to just be able to, I want to be able to watch and enjoy the show. I'm not looking to be a part of the show. I don't want to dance and flail around. That's not my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it to be at the back, too. It's loud. It's too loud. I mean, the band was I, amazing. They were really good, but it was loud. It's hard when you go and see, especially in like a small venue where like the sound just carries and like when you're at a concert like that, you can no longer talk to anybody. I know. You, just have, I, you like have to just sit there and observe the whole thing. It's, it may, sometimes it makes me very uncomfortable. I love how like probably a lot of young listeners are like, who are these two old women complaining <laughs> about seats at a concert? But I really did have, I was wearing like a see-through top with like a little wow. bralette, high-waisted Stays. pants. I was really, I was really going Good for, for the you. moment. I mean, I did. Did the night end up with me eating McDonald's at a bar? Yes, it did. <laughs> great, great. I had um uh, one night, uh, actually Tuesday night, uh, my brother, oh, my brother lives in Toronto, but I was out with him and then, um, a few, um, friends from work. We just popped out to, um, Lipstick and Dynamite on, uh, Queen West. What's that? And, I don't even know what that oh, is. It's, it's a really cool little, like, dive bar. It's right at, like, Queen. It's Queen just before Ossington. Okay. Um, on the north side of the street. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute little spot. Popped in there. But anyways, I, I had, like, a couple drinks. Nothing excessive. Yeah. But enough to uh, make me go to Alexandro's, which was right next to my hotel, and get a Greek poutine. Have What's you that? had? So it's just, it's um, fries with gravy and then feta cheese instead of the curds. And when she told me it, I was like, mm, I'm not really interested, but ordered it. It was exceptional. Really? Very good. Yeah, yeah. Quite, quite good. There's just nothing, like nothing beats a French fry. Sorry about nothing it. Nothing does. Covered in anything. Yep. I I feel like... So I've been home for a few days and I'm like, wow, I really need to like hit a reset button because I have eaten so many fries. Me too. Um, had just like eating bad. And I feel like for like the last like month, month and a half, I have been like in hotels, on the road, home for 24 hours, home yeah. for 48 hours. So like I feel like my workouts have kind of suffered. I feel like my eating has definitely suffered. It's hard to eat healthy when you're on the road. Also, like sometimes when you're just like in the middle of like – being in a car, being in a hotel, you want like comfort food because you're just like yes. feeling a little bit sorry for yourself. Oh my God. I, I woke Oof. up today and ordered jerk chicken Hell from, yes. from Uber Eats. Oh, that's, I love <laughs> jerk chicken it's so, so much. Is it Ugh. bad for you? It's bad for you, obviously. I mean, I don't think it has to be because it's, it's <laughs> it doesn't have to be. But like, it depends on how it's done because jerk is just a rub. It's just a spice. It was so good. So just, it depends on how it's done. If it's like fried jerk chicken. No. Sure, but if it's just like a roast chicken with jerk sauce, I don't think that's so bad. That's all it was with some rice. Then, it was delicious. Yeah, I don't think that you can hate on that. I think you're fine. Hmm. I think you're all totally right. fine. Well, thank you. Um, But uh, yeah, since I've been home, I, I need to, I've been like hitting my workouts. That's good. Eating healthy. Really having a little reset. Um, It's boring, but I'm. it's okay. I deserve I, it. 
I put myself in this position. I did see your Instagram post of like, oh, just dinner from what's left in my fridge. And I was like, cool fridge. Like, <laughs> nice items. You should see mine. It's like soda water, a mask, <laughs> an anti-fatigue mask. And All like, that was though, it was just, I had rice in my pantry. I had beans in my pantry and I had leftover mushrooms. So I just like cooked all that. Uh, and then I just, and then I put a poached egg on it, put a poached egg on anything and it ups oh, the ante massively. And then just, uh, um, and I had um, leftover cilantro from my um, sun basket, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. We absolutely um, So will. I added that. Yeah. Shall we, should we so, get into our first out. sponsor? Speaking of. I say we do it. Speaking Let's of sponsors. do it. <laughs> Well, our first sponsor is Tomboy X, um, which is an amazing underwear apparel line that is so wonderful. You guys are going to fall in love with them. You're going to love it. Yeah. So basically, it's like a variety of underwear that is comfortable. And um, I'm just pulling up my favorite underwear. Uh, So for me, I'm such a big fan of any kind of like a boxer brief. Mm-hmm. So to me, I feel like the boxer brief can be like a very sexy underwear. It's My functional. favorite. It's very like, I don't know, I feel like it, it accentuates your body in the right places. I love a little like under bum cheek um, showing. I, I would, per- I find that like sexier than just like a thong. Am I wrong for thinking that? No, I love it. I mean, I love like a boxer or a boxer brief or like little brief. And especially if you're like just chilling around your house, it's nice to like be comfortable and have like that butt covered. Yeah, it looks cute. And you know, Tomboy's whole deal is that it's, it's time to stop wearing underwear that doesn't make you feel confident. You want to feel sexy in your underwear. And I think that is like it's, it's so true. I, I feel like when you put on sexy underwear, and even if like if you're the only one that sees it, it puts a pep in your step for the day. I think. Oh my god, absolutely! I mean, Massively. it truly is. I like always avoided getting like nice underwear, or underwear that fits. But then the second I started kind of doing that and like you know making myself feel really nice, it really does yeah. change a whole lot. You end up at a I bar agree. dancing around, watching yes. someone Instagram live a band. You know what I mean? Yes, mm-hmm. it's it's so true. Um, so they've got bikinis, bikini briefs, uh, boxer briefs, trunks, and boy shorts. Um, soft bras, racer back bras in every basic color, fun seasonal prints and brilliant colors and all of the options. They come in sizes from XS to 4X. Which is incredible. Amazing. Sizes for everyone. Um, yeah, so regardless of where you fall in the size or gender spectrum, Tomboy X offers amazing underwear that anybody feels comfortable in. It's true and their styles are really cute and amazing. You can go like very, very cool. simple, nice with like gray and white stripes all the way to like, they had like octopus like patterns which was really cute so cute yeah it's very fun. very cute yeah you guys gotta get on it. gotta get on it yeah check out the site and um so if you go to tomboyx.com slash regular and check out their special bundles and pack pricing and regular girls listeners will get an extra 15 percent off with code regular again that's code regular for an extra 15 percent off ditch whatever you're wearing for a pair of tomboy x underwear go to tomboyx.com slash regular get yourself some undies Get you some. Actually, you know what? I really need some new underwear. So maybe I need to put in like another order with Tomboy because their stuff is really lovely. Um, I'm really a huge, nice. huge fan. So yeah, maybe that's the move for me next. It is. Thank you, Tomboy. X. Switch it all over. Switch Got it all you. over. I feel like um, as I, I like usually when I'm on the road a lot, if I, you know, you just have like underwear that you've had for too long, but it just still manages to exist in your life and in your drawers and you wear oh, it. Oh, yes. Ugh, I have uh, pretty much all of my underwear is at that point right now. So it's time for me to step it up a little bit. The jig is up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's it true. makes me feel like um, like a real adult woman to have on proper underwear. It's true. And also like... And matching bra and underwear? Get out of oh, town. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I was literally buying some underwear and the girl was like this like millennial. And she was like, Cute, they're matching. I'm like, there's just something about it. I love a little matching set. I agree. I agree. And also like... When I come home now, it's pants off time. I'm just like immediately. Pant- yeah. So I like a nice little like, you know, brief. Walk around. Every now and then though, like sometimes I wish, well not sometimes, frequently, I wish that I was like that woman that's just sexy around the house, like in like cute a little boy briefs. Yeah. And not even like, yeah, I guess like a negligee or like I have a really great robe that I like. I feel like I want to become more of a robe person. But yeah. right now, I'm not a robe person. I am a sweats and a hoodie kind of person. 
Um, and I'm, I'm going to start to reevaluate it. Well, you know, I was talking about my favorite Instagram uh, beauty guru right now, which is Katie Jane Hughes. And oh, she, I'm, I'm so happy that I followed her, by the way. She's the best. Yeah. She and, does a smoky cat eye that I love. Oh, my God. So I did a sm- the smoky cat eye that she was doing at my show the other night. And my musical director was like, what did you do to your eyes? I was like, Katie Jane Hughes, girl. Katie Jane it, Hughes. Do you have a photo of this? I I might I might on my phone, but yeah, she's come like, oh on, my God. She um, we need proof. It's super easy. I mean, I I don't have like the fancy brush that she has. I have to go to Sephora. And it's just a Nars brush, but um, I just do like uh, a black eye crayon, like eyeliner, smudge that out to like where I would want the eye. Then I go over with liner, and then I just kind of brush it all together. So it's like this very smoky. Wow. Yeah, and like barely any shadow. I, I really stopped doing a lot of shadow. I never mess with too many shadows. It's, Don't. it's not my deal. I'm not into it. No, and so Katie Jane Hughes has this, she, she's always in a robe. That's why See, it, it this made is me bring I it up. to be. I need to be a woman in a robe. And, um, and yeah, and so she was like in this like Turkish cotton robe. Come on. It looked amazing. Yeah, of course it does. It's very like... It's just so feminine and pretty. And yeah. I, like they're comfortable to sit around in, but it's like I act like I'm like going to a baseball game when I'm at home and just need to be like, I don't know, ready to just like, I was going <laughs> to say sit spread eagle, but that's not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, when you're home sitting spread eagle. <laughs> Oh my god, look at how red my face is right now. I went and tanned yesterday, so my face is a little bit burnt and laughing too hard just made my face go like plum colored. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love it. You're just, you know, you're at home just sitting spread eagle, <laughs> watching book club with Diane Keaton, you know. <laughs> that has been my last 36 hours and I regret nothing. I, I just dare anybody to tell me differently. I just see you backstage at Robbing, like, guys, I just can't wait to get home and see Blue <laughs> sit spread eagle on my couch. <laughs> oh, God. It's so great. I'm like sweating with heat right now. I don't know why it's so hot in this room right now. I'm because dying. you live in Vegas. <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot. Though I, I usually have my air conditioning cranked so high. But the other day when I was like, oh my gosh, it's starting to cool down, I, I pushed the. I, put, I changed the temperature from like 68 to 71 and Insanity. I've got to push it back down. It's too hot for me. I'm not cut out for this. Um, but I'm really making Vegas work for me. And um, <laughs> here's the thing that I was going to say. So I jumped on here with Stacy right before we started recording. And I was like, I'm really emotionally going through some stuff. Right yes. Now. What is it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm in the middle of, or I'm not in the middle. I'm at the very beginning stages of starting to redo our fireplace. Oh my God. And let me tell you, what a world there is out there. I don't know how people make these kind of decisions. What do you mean? I have been on tile websites for 24 hours, scrolling through stuff, thinking I've made my decision. There's just so many to choose from. I can't decide what to get. I've narrowed it down to like a few different tiles, but of course the ones that I wanted are expensive as all hell. Yeah. Um, however, the price that the guy quoted me yesterday for the fireplace is cheaper than I thought. So maybe I can just balance it out and get these tiles. Um, I know this is uh, maybe it's boring. I don't know, but, um, it's very stressful picking out different like tiles and textiles and things that are going to be like permanent fixtures in your house. It's I, a lot of work. I don't think I could ever decorate a house. I would have to hire a decorator. I messaged a friend of mine who um, who is like a designer in Toronto and I was like, hey, because I like there's a lot with it that like so I want to do it in like a very like Spanish style um, okay. like, type of tile, something with like a cool print on it. Like I want it to be a little bit oh. loud. OK, I get so I want like a cool pop that will be in the room. But then I'm also going to have drywall run up the wall to taper out to make it look like larger and more grandiose. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, anyways, a guy came over yesterday, gave me a quote. I'm very excited to start this project. Um, but yeah, picking out a tile has just been throwing me for a loop. But I also for like months, I've been trying to find the proper chandelier to put in my living room. Whoa. Um, yeah, and getting a chandelier is also a lot of work, especially trying to find one that's big enough just because my ceilings are really high. Right. Um, but I ended up finding one last night that I was like, you know what? Enough's enough. I'm just going to buy this one. So I found one from Pottery Barn. Whoa. Um, nice. But much cheaper than I thought it was going to be. It was like four, 
maybe 500 bucks plus the installation That's which it? is very cheap yes yeah and like the ones i've been looking at before were like very expensive but i was looking for one that was going to be like the pop in the room but now right. the fireplace is going to be the pop so i i went super basic on my well, chandelier yeah. that it's just like it's basically just a wire chandelier um but yeah it's been a lot i've been like on my phone on Instagram, on Pinterest. Like, I am up to my titties and tiles right now. It's crazy. You honestly sound like a house blogger. Like, one yeah, of those, like, lifestyle am. bloggers who's always, like, renovating. I follow, like, six of them on my Instagram feed. I follow a bunch of them now and a bunch of different tile companies. Um, but I'm not one because I can't make a decision, and I'm so nervous. So I'm very nervous to pick the wrong one, and obviously I don't want to look like shit, but... Um, during the time, so I've been wanting to redo the fireplace for a while. And anytime I've brought it up to John, he's a little bit hesitant about it. So now Why? I'm nervous that if I, I don't know. Because guys don't like change. Guys think That's every, true. like, That's they true. don't like to change anything. How long is it going to um, take to get a new fireplace? Like Only three days. That's it? That's it. Just three days. So I was like, oh, that's nothing. That's not a big deal. Um, I just need to pick out the tile and whatnot, and then we're kind of all systems ago. And my chandelier is going to be delivered, so things are coming together over here in the Ooh. in the good household. Yeah, it's happening, man. But it's stressful. I listen. I get it. I got a bunch of shelves I need to put up. I don't know how to Ugh. put up shelves. I don't have the tools. Who does? I, I don't know. I don't know a lumberjack. Do you, you need to like own a level to do that. I Who know. owns a level? So I have to keep calling my dad, but you know, uh, it's because Pinterest, yeah. okay, apart, if you follow Apartment Therapy or Domino Meg on oh, Instagram. Oh, Domino Meg's got some great stuff. Then all you're doing is just puttering around your house all the goddamn time, being like, sure. I need a shelf here and, and a succulent here and a, you know, it's too much. It's too much. However, when it's all done and everything just like happens to look exceptional, that's the good that's the good spot. Oh yeah. But, but it's he, so hard to it, there's just always something else. There's it so never many ends. there's so many lifestyle bloggers that I um that I've been following and they've finished um their house. They finished tinkering with it, it's done, and now they're yeah. like in a slow mental decline because they have nothing to do. Of course. So now they're redoing rooms that they just oh, redid. No. Yeah, well Yikes. They, yeah. They're losing their minds. That's Burger drinking in the background. He does not care. Oh, what a good boy. He's Baby over Berg. it. He's Sweet over Berg. it tonight. He will not get up until it's like 1230. That's blue all the time. He's such a lazy little shit. Like, it's I, actually embarrassing. I went for a shower, came out, and he was they're not he's not allowed on the bed, and he was on the bed under the covers, sleeping on a pillow like he was like in a hotel room. <laughs> It's like Kevin McAllister. Yeah. I was like, what's happening here? Um, <laughs> Why is this happening? Yes. Should we talk about our next sponsor? Yeah, we should. I was actually just about to pull mine up because I us. noticed that it's about that time. Yes. And you have questions too, right? You were, I was just I do. telling you. Okay. So we're going to answer yep. some of your questions from Twitter yeah, as well. I do have some questions. So speaking of Sun Basket. Yes. Sunbasket delivers delicious meal kits right to your door. Their new quick and easy meal plan is designed to take less than 20 minutes to prepare. They oh, have, baby. They have organic so produce great. and clean ingredients delivered to your door. It is so great. It's nice. It is. Um, you know, obviously, <clears throat> ideally, we all want to have enough time to cook our own dinner every night. Uh, right. But sometimes there's no time to cook. None. There's no time because we're looking at too many tiles online. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Who has the time? Who has uh, it? So, you know, of course, it's so tempting to get takeout, order in from uh, many of the different delivery services. And even then, you still have to wait the good 40 minutes for your food. Ugh. So now, instead of spending 20 minutes stressing about what to have for dinner, uh, I can now use that time to prepare my own delicious, healthy meal uh, with the new quick and easy meal plan from Sunbasket. It's absolutely sensational. Um, so some baskets, meal kits always make it easy and convenient to cook healthy, delicious meals at home, no matter how much experience you have in the kitchen. Uh, and now getting a meal on the table is even faster and more foolproof with some baskets, new quick and easy meal plans. Anything that's quick and easy like that, you're talking my language. I'm Sometimes in. I just want to shovel some food 
into my face. Which is great because they have pre-measured, easy to prep ingredients. You don't even have to think about it. And it's all organic produce. Um, it's quick and easy, guys. 20 minutes. There's no excuses. And you can enjoy dishes like super fast Thai turkey lettuce cups or Ooh. simple sausage tacos with bell peppers, chili salsa, and queso fresco. Ugh, queso fresco. Come on. Um, they also work with the best farms and suppliers to bring you fresh organic produce and responsibly sourced meats and seafoods. Which is really um, they good. also, yeah, it's amazing that they do that. Um, they also offer paleo, gluten free, lean and clean, vegan, Mediterranean options, and more. Um, I love all of these options, uh, and just even being able to switch them out here and there, deciding which ones you want to do. Um, I'm oh, yeah. a big fan of the Mediterranean diet too. So oh, anything, yeah. love that. I feel like that's the diet that speaks the most to me. Um, so yeah, you can mix and match any of their 18 weekly recipes and skip or cancel at any time. Which is nice. Um, so yeah, so what you guys got to do is go to sunbasket.com slash regular today to learn more and get $35 off your first order. That's sunbasket.com slash regular for $35 off of Sunbasket. Sunbasket.com slash regular gets you some easy, quick meals. No more excuses. Get nope. to it. Hop on to it. Um, okay, so hopping on to it, you want to take some of these cues? Yes. I noticed, I was telling you, I noticed something. I, like, my phone was blowing up, and I was like, what? Did I say something online? <laughs> Did I say do you, So I actually had something like that the other day. I woke up, and I was like, did I tweet that? And I dreamt that I tweeted something, really, that I shouldn't have tweeted. Really? And I instantly went to my phone. I was like, oh, thank God I didn't. I was like, but did I tweet it and delete it? Oh, my God. Terrifying. Yeah. Uh, it really, it, it is. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so let's see what questions I have liked here. Great. Um, okay, so from um, Drunken Lariat yes. wants to know, would you rather be eaten by a shark or a crocodile? Um, I'm going to say probably shark. I think that they're a bit bigger and I could just kind of be swallowed whole. And, I think it would be quicker too, yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm going to take that. You know what I'm not interested in is the crocodile roll, the way they bite you and then they spin oh, around yeah. to disorient you. No way. When it comes to me getting murdered, I think the less theatrical, the better. <laughs> <laughs> However, if I were to be eaten by a shark or a crocodile, please just make that like the only thing on my headstone. That's all I need. <laughs> Let everybody know. I just want the tombstone to be the head of the shark and my legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god could you imagine walking through a cemetery and seeing that you'd be like what the you'd, well, have, you'd, be to, like, well, you'd have to inquire <laughs> exactly i want to what attention. happened yeah um okay from ben espinosa what's yes. your favorite place to be in the world my bed <laughs> yeah, honestly oh my god i went to bed at like 11 p.m last night which is like you know, pretty regular, but I, yeah. whatever, I, I could have stayed up later. As soon as I hit my bed, I'm out. I wasn't even tired when I went up. I just didn't want to be downstairs anymore. And I just fell asleep for the full night. I just love that you're like, listen, guys, just so you're clear, I do fucking party, but I do like to be in bed at 11. <laughs> could have been up. Um, just letting you know, things could have gone one of two ways. My favorite is just like, honestly, when I come home and I just literally turn into like a Kathy cartoon and just go, oh, like after a day, <laughs> <laughs> like pants off. I'm like, goodbye world. Yeah, yeah, I think being home, coming home, this is like specific and maybe makes me sound like a crazy person, but I love coming home. My house is clean and I have new sheets on my bed. Oh, the best. The best. Are you kidding it's me? Heaven. It's the best. New sheets on the bed. Get out of Listen, town. This podcast has quickly become a Diane Keaton movie. <laughs> We're talking about tiling and clean sheets, but like, honestly, I, get with I'm it. Just, I'm starting to change and you guys just get to see if this as it develops. But oh, yeah. Hop on I board. I love the simple... These are the simple things, you guys. Oh, yeah. It's so great. Um, yeah. So those ones definitely count. I mean, Toronto is definitely one for me. My love of Toronto uh, never ceases to um, to die out. I love being no. there. It's such a great place. Oh, yeah. Um, where else? I mean, I, I love Italy as well, but okay. I'm not going there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Venice in spring, I guess. <laughs> 
Actually, you know, another place I really like to be is just at the grocery store. I love grocery shopping. Oh my God. I love grocery. You know what I thought you were going to say? <laughs> I love it. I thought you were going to say like Ibiza or something. I was going to be like, <laughs> Renee, get out of here, literally. No. But the grocery store, I could. Ibiza. It's Ibiza. Ibiza. I could spend Ibiza. hours at a grocery store. I love it. Hours. I love going to the grocery store. Me too. I want to I want to tinker down every aisle. I want to see new sauces. Oh yeah. Uh, I want I want all of it. I want to see what the best uh, meat selection is. Uh, I like Me to too. party in the grocery store. Me and too. And if there's a sample, oh my God. I'm eating it. I got these great crackers the other day that um, have rosemary in them. Oh baby. Are you they guys? <laughs> Are they married? <laughs> Such a shitty podcast. Wow. No, Renee's correct. She does party. <laughs> <laughs> rosemary and her crackers. <laughs> Rosemary's crackers, everyone. That's the title of this pod. <laughs> oh, good. That could be a nice little Halloween dish. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, next po- uh, next podcast. Next question. Yes. Um, from Liz Loves Renee. Liz, hi. Oh, screw you. Uh, yeah. I'm kidding. Sorry, James. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> if you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Okay, this is a good cue. I'm probably going to say pizza or sushi, and that's okay. probably where I'd be at. Sometimes I get a little um, raw fished out. Yeah, that's fair. But I think if I just love sushi so much. I think mine would be pasta carbonara. Wow. I love carbonara pasta. I love it. Wow. It's so good and I don't eat it often because it's like so bad for you. But it's one of my favorite things. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I yeah, it's 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 the best of the pastas, I think. I just love how classy you're coming out of, on this. And I'm just like a dirt bag dirt and I'm just like oh pizza <laughs> my I mean, but mine, mine are like fatty and bad that's like, great. The, that's bad I mean so it's literally pizza. just like it's like butter and like heavy cream and bacon Hell it's yeah. all bad things but oh my god I love it love it I love it all right what's um, the next question? god I'm having a hard time not that I'm having a hard time but um my mouth really hurts today because I whitened my teeth yesterday it Ooh. hurts me for days when I whiten my teeth hurts, yeah but I do feel like they're whiter um okay from nolan woodford uh, who would win in a fight a taco or a grilled cheese sandwich wow these are really um hard-hitting questions oh yeah uh taco or a grilled cheese sandwich i'm thinking taco i mean we gotta look at just weight and tacos weight, have arms yeah. in a way <laughs> <laughs> in a way how does a taco have arms like a hard shell taco <laughs> oh like armor like it's like shaped like a U, so it could find. Oh, okay, I get that. I see it now. I get it. See, I feel like I'd, I think I would go grilled cheese sandwich in this because, like, I don't know. They're they're definitely greasier. Yeah, you can add. Uh, I would say you can add more to them. Um, I will tell you though. So I um I went. You know that um the Firkin by the Air Canada Center. There's one. Oh uh, yes, over in that area, they have um which Paige got. We went out for a drink afterwards on Tuesday. Uh, she had the uh, mac and cheese grilled cheese, and it was unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it was truly exceptional. That sounds so good. Yep, very good. Um, okay, from St. Blues slash Cards, um, uh, da, 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 question random, but out of the three movie killers, Jason, okay. Michael Myers, and Freddy Krueger, which movie do you guys think you have a better chance of surviving in? Um, straight out the gate, none of them. Um, <laughs> I have the face, uh, of a girl who dies first in a horror movie. Cause I'm like, no what? way. No I'm the way. First I don't dead. think so. I'm the first dead. What? That'd be me. What? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, I don't know. I feel like you would be like the character that has the gumption and you would like smart your way out in a certain way. Or like you have like this underlying feistiness that I think would at least get you halfway like through the, the movie the, the four tv commercial break oh my, that's honestly the nicest thing i've ever heard i like yeah. that i'd have an emotional arc in a scary movie but even just this question alone is giving me like frightful diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> i hate scary movies um i would not do well um with freddie because um i i hate having a bad dream and thinking that it's real and yes. waking up and you're like in between like i find like even at nighttime so um so john's away right now he's in like china um, but I find any time he's gone, the dog acts a fool. He's yes. constantly barking at things. He's looking around the house. Like he's very suspicious of everything. And I don't know why he does it only when John's not here, but, um, 
he kept doing that and then it gives me weird dreams where I always wake up and I think I haven't like set the alarm for the house and somebody's in the house right um there's yeah there's there's many different scenarios like that that freak me out I actually came home the other day it was like middle of the afternoon but um I came home and I could hear that somebody was upstairs in the house and I was like what full Mm. panic set in it was the maids they had oh my god to get into the house yeah but it scared the crap out of me well yeah I could hear it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" There's there's legit a person walking upstairs. It was very terrifying. Um, but I think I would do best with um, probably Michael Myers. I think. Well, he doesn't move much. He just walks exactly, doesn't he? Exactly. He's got like mommy issues. Um, is he dead? Is he not? He's got a lot more going on. Where I think, I think I would be able to outsmart him a little more, or at least kill him yeah. to get to another episode or another um uh remake yeah yeah i think guess. i think i could outrun him for sure i i wouldn't um yeah i wouldn't go up any stairs and i wouldn't like trip and fall just if i could keep I also, a steady pace i think i'd be okay i it, just like fashion wise i really respect his um consistent jumpsuit <laughs> <laughs> we love consistency I love a killers. good jumpsuit. <laughs> I love me a jumpsuit. Um, do you want to do our next sponsor before we get into the rest of our cues? Yes. Um, Great. Oh, well, P-Volve, yeah? P-Volve. We talked about eating healthy. Now it's time to move our damn bodies. It is time. We all want those long, beautiful muscles um, that you get from long several and lean. different... Yeah, the long and lean is a way to do it. Um, uh, so P-Volve... Um, it's a streaming service that offers a large library of videos, including structured workout plans and new videos that are updated weekly and users can stream to sculpt tone and define anytime, anywhere from any device. Um, so it's a revolutionary exercise ball. That's unlike your average ball. It's elastic band holds the ball high between your thighs to activate hard to reach muscles in the core glutes and thighs for tone and definition. Um, and they've got exclusive workouts that are created for the P ball with the ability to stream anytime, anywhere. Um, it, it's, it's so, I, I love being able to get into like those lean, lean muscle body workouts. Like that's definitely like what speaks to me when I'm working out. Cause there's low oh, yeah. impact, um, anti-pulse training and it focuses on stretching and opening of the hips, which, Ooh, girl, let Must. me tell you how much I need that. My hips get destroyed. I think from being on planes so much, I, I've never dealt with it as much as I have now that like when I'm in yoga, I just, I, I need to just go to like a yin class and open up my hips. Yeah. It's, and it's really, really great because it comes with, so, um, so p Volve has the prehab method, which is the workout and it comes with their P-Ball, which is a really great resistance ball, which kind of like keeps your body aligned so that you can work out the muscles properly opposed to me yeah. just flailing about hoping to one day <laughs> have an ab. Um, <laughs> and the program also includes uh, a bunch of challenges, which are super fun and great and keep you motivated. They have the 30 day challenge. Challenge, the six day total body and they have a three day body burn. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's sort of anything that sort of suits your goals. So how it works is p says get ready for the body of your dreams. p streaming service offers, like Renee says, a large library of videos including structured workout plans and their challenges. So you can stream you can scream. That's a Michael Moore guarantee. <laughs> you can do what you got to do. Tone. Yeah. Anywhere from any uh, device, um, get the thigh, booty, and abs that you want. I really like it. Yes. I mean, I like that the classes are varied in time, so I really don't have any excuse at all. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that too. I like If you really feel you're just like, Ooh, I just need to squeeze in something real quick, I love that they have that option for you. And having the challenges. I think for people that are super competitive and want yeah. to – you know, kind to, to challenge yourself in a certain way. It's nice to have those options, definitely. Oh, yeah. And it's also like I know it can be really frustrating when you're like if you're, you know, looking at other places to work out, whether online or wherever. And sometimes yeah. they have gear. What's like the P-Ball is amazing and, and it's part of their programming. So, yeah. um, and it also has workout options with no equipment if that's not your bag. Um, and they also have personalized features with a data tracker to track your evolution, your workout calendar to keep you on schedule, which is brilliant, nice. and motivating workout reminders. So it gets you off the couch. 
does get you up and off the couch. So to purchase a pee ball and receive two months of free streaming, nearly a $60 savings at pvolve.com slash regular and enter our promo code regular at the checkout. Um, so go to pvolve.com uh, and enter our promo code regular because you will be getting, uh, you can get a purchase a pee ball and receive two months of free streaming. You guys will be saving up to $60. Um, so get on it. Get those apps. Get that butt. Get do those it. thighs. It's P-volve. your day. It's your time. It's your September. Let's do it. Yes. Pvolve.com slash regular. Enter promo code regular at checkout. Get up in there. Um, okay. Um, this one's kind of, I mean, well, let's see where we go here. From April Kurosawa. Okay. What do you do when you miss someone? When I miss someone? Yeah. Um. Oh, man. Uh, that's such. Let's see. What do you do? Call them? Um, I guess if you can't call them, what do you do? Creep them? <laughs> um, no, because I feel like that would kind of make you more sad. Maybe. Don't you think? If you're like really... If we, I don't know. I guess like sometimes you... No. Like if I like miss John and like people like tag me and like pictures of him like when he's like wrestling and stuff. Like yeah. that always makes me like a little bit happier. Yeah. I guess it's like if you can't reach out to that person in a way, a great tip is to signify or write down or sort of like that's why you miss them is it an x so it's like why do you miss them are you just feeling lonely is it really just about you you can go that deep um but if i'm just missing someone i'll stalk them i'm not opposed to it sure yeah or like like so like if i'm missing like my nanny who um who is no longer uh, with us. Mine but if too. I miss her, yeah. yeah, but like, you know, I guess it's like a different scenario where like you can't reach out to them. But I like to, um, I actually have like a picture of my nanny that's on our fridge. I'll look at like a picture of her or I'll talk to my mom about her and we'll talk about like our memories yeah. of her or like my cousin or something. So it's nice to still sort of have those memories um, with other people and be able to talk about them in like, you know, in a nice way. It doesn't have oh, to be yeah. um, all sad and no. gloomy, but it can be like a really nice way to like remember somebody and celebrate their life and, and whatnot. Or you just talk so. out loud to them too. Sometimes I'll ask yeah. my nanny to haunt me or why I'm not being haunted. What is she doing? Why is she busy? Because um, I have like <laughs> a, a small haunting. And then I started getting like s- small haunts, which was nice. Really? Yeah. That's I have, like, nice. I have a lot of like, my grandmother used to just write quotes for me or things she thought were important, like on scrap pieces of paper. And I mean literal scraps of paper. Yeah. And so she wrote me um, a quote about um, that she read in like a Reader's Digest or like on the radio or something. And it says, when you're busy looking at your belly, someone's looking at your eyes, meaning like get over yourself. You're Oh, I right. love that. So I have it near my closet. And one day I was like, ugh, I hate everything I own. And it just like flew off the wall. There's no, no. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's happened a couple wow. of times. And usually when I'm feeling bad about myself, it'll fall off the wall. No way. That's crazy. And I go, I okay. love that. Yeah. A All nice right. haunt. Yeah, so ask yeah, for a little haunting. Yeah, that is a nice haunt. See, when Blue gets very crazy around the house, I like to just assume that it's my nanny, and then it makes me less freaked out that I'm like, all right, knock it off, nanny. I get it. <laughs> that I can, like, yeah. I can deal with it a little better than assuming that it's some stranger that no longer wants me living in this house. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Well, sage that out, and then that'll get rid of the, the bad spirits, and it'll end up. I, I don't want to, like, sage my nanny out, though. Will it sage her out? Well, you just got to be like, hey, girl, like, you know, I don't know. Maybe I we'll talk to whoever's up there for a bit. I just got to quickly sage, and then come on back. And then come back. Yeah, yeah. Come on back. Do a quick saging. Bring it on back. Yeah, bring maybe on that's back. the way. Um, okay, from Jessica, um, she wants to know um, what our least favorite thing to do is. Least favorite thing to do? Yeah. Um. Oh, my God. I want to say like taxes, but then when I start getting into it, I kind of like the numbers. Um, (laughs) What do I hate doing? Um, I hate doing burpees. Burpees might be one of my 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 least favorite things in the entire world. I would live so happily if I never had to do a burpee or a jump squat ever again in my life. Yeah, I when I was doing CrossFit yesterday, not to brag, um, because I'm not, because I'm so sore. Um, (laughs) They were making me do box jumps, and I actually got a little angry. Yeah, I get mad. I get pissed when I'm in a class and they're like, okay, now we're going to do a thousand burpees. I have literally muttered F off. And just like to myself, it's a mo- it's, yeah. yeah, it's bad. But like, it's so frustrating to me being in a class and doing burpees. It, it, 
it, it really ignites a rage in me that I, I'm not even aware that I have on a regular basis. Oh, yeah. There. I also think one thing I hate being is like patient. Um, yes. I don't like a slow walker. I don't Ugh. like people who don't know how to like order. Like yep. even being at that I concert agree. last night, I'm like, no one knows how to like stand like a normal person. <laughs> I have no patience for people who don't freaking get it. <laughs> I hate that. I hate, um, which I get it. I know not everybody's at the airport as often as I am, but like yeah. when people lose um, all functional abilities when they're at yes. the airport. They don't know what anything is. Everything's confusing to them. Suddenly everything's in a foreign language. Like they just yeah. can't handle it. I'm like, get out of my way. Oh, I love it when someone goes, oh, I'm flying. I should bring all of the water I own. They'll let me oh on my, with it. Yeah. And then they... It's not happening. No. So maybe my least favorite thing to do uh, is Do I have vacation. to take off my shoes? <laughs> yes, you have to take off your shoes. We're going to TSA. Sir, they're just Crocs. Yeah, take them off. <laughs> No. Take them off and leave them here. Buy new shoes on the other side. Yeah, we're done. Bye. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. so you're going to like this question. Okay, great. Um, this is from Jennifer. When somebody says business casual, what kind of look are you putting together? Business casual. Okay. That's a really great question. And I feel like yeah, you'd have is. a better answer than I would. No, because I, I, I skew sometimes. I'm not, I'm not always great with it. Business casual. The thing is, it depends on your style. So if someone's in business casual to me, I'm probably going to wear, I don't know. It really depends on where the event is. Because I used to work at a restaurant and they wanted business casual, but they really wanted like boobs out, butt out. Right, exactly. It depends on what somebody wants. Actually, absolutely. And I showed up in a business slack. And listen, <laughs> I yeah, it wasn't the right call. But um, business casual. Oh, a blazer. You can't go wrong in a blazer. You can throw on a fun short, a cute top, throw on a blazer in a, in a boot. Yeah, a booty. I actually I agree with that. If you put on like a cute jean, and you can, I think you can do a jean with business casual here's, blazer. Here's some style icons to think of when I think of business casual. Gwyneth Paltrow up a gate, for sure. One what, window, good, what, great call. What great is great call? What is Goop wearing to a summit? That's what you can wear. It's a business. Don't casual Don't click on moment. the link to where she bought it though, because it'll cost you a thousand dollars. Yeah. So um, Gwyneth Paltrow is a great business casual reference. I would say Jessica Beals another good business casual reference. Um, yeah, those would be my go-tos who I would um, look to. See, like I struggle with business casual sometimes because I'm like, okay, I know ideally what, when somebody says business casual to me of what they expect from me yeah, of that to be, but then I still want to like honor myself and throw in like one thing that's not supposed to be in part of the business of casual of like a cool t-shirt or like sure. a fun boot. Like I, I like, I don't want to like lose my personality in my business casual attire. I don't think you can. I don't think you have to. I think it's like, I think you can wear like a, like if you wore like a cool t-shirt and like a high-waisted skirt um, or like even high-waisted black pants a bl and then throw a blazer on, you're good to go. Yeah, I think I, I totally agree. I think that that's like a foolproof look. Take you your casual look it. and refine it. Yeah. That's yeah, it. just add, honestly, if you take your casual look and just put a blazer on, if, so long as you're not just wearing sweatpants, you'll be off to the races. Absolutely. I mean, did my sister's boyfriend almost get fired because he took business casual as, oh, I'll just wear black sweatpants to sell cell phones? No. No. Yeah. No can do. No can do on that No part. can do. No. Um, okay, this is from Carol Casada. Okay. What would you, or what would the title of your autobiography be? Oh my God, I've thought about this so often. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, man, someone <laughs> said one to me yesterday, and I was like, that's it. Um, I don't um, – there's a bunch. I'm over it. Um, where are the sandwiches? Uh, high knees and I confetti. Used have, I used to have a bunch of other ones, but now, like, I feel like they don't really apply. Like, I don't know why I thought that I wanted uh, my autobiography to be called Pooping in Heels, um, but that doesn't apply <laughs> Pooping anymore. Pooping in Heels. <laughs> I love it. Um, I still party, just not after 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I still party. Um, yes, my oh, vagina God. also wears a turtleneck. <laughs> oh, somebody retweeted something about that the other day, and it made me laugh again so hard. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, and this is from Lord Farquaad. Wow. Okay. <laughs> cool. If any actress could play you in a movie, who would it be and why? 
Oh, uh, here's a tough question. It's it's got to be us. I mean, like, I what am I? I'm already struggling here. What am I? I'm gonna give yeah, someone else real. the gig. Give me the paycheck. I want to just let me be myself. Agreed. If I'm here's the, here's the deal. If I'm if I'm getting a biopic made, it's slanted to however I need it to look. You're, yeah, <laughs> so I know, right? Let me live That's the lie. That's actually very true. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, um, I don't know who's like a babe. Oh, I'd be like, oh, can I have um. Margot Robbie play me. That'd be great. Actually, like, that's a good call. You guys look very similar. No, we don't. Yes, you do. I don't know about that. That's very kind of Listen, you. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, facts are facts. I'm not slinging around fakes here. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, should we do our last sponsor? Yes. Yes. I mean, last in the sense that we love them most. And love. You know, we love the last one we're, we're doing today. Um, I'm so excited to talk about the sponsor, which is our Fab Fit Fun Pal. Yes. Guys, the Fab Fit Fun Fall Box is here, which is an incredible. So, Fab Fit Fun is, if you don't know, is a seasonable um, subscription box delivered four times a year with full size. Let me say that again full size Ugh. fashion, beauty, home, fitness, and wellness products for just 50 bucks or $49.99 a box. Um, we got ours. I'm in love. I get so happy when my FabFitFun box gets here. And it's funny because my mom was here when I opened it. And my mom was like just like breathing over it while I was taking everything out. She was like she was definitely taking stuff from it. Well, it got delivered originally to the sex shop that I I live um, above. And there was a little note for me that said, hey. And it was like, hey, like long, like a couple E's, a couple Y's. Hey, your FabFitFun box is here. And then I picked it up. They're like, ooh. Uh, tell me about it <laughs> because you see all these boxes I'm sure online and on social media and you're like what is this but when I got it I was like oh my god I absolutely get the hype they're it's, really great it's really great well I think also too like I mean even as I was saying at like the beginning of the podcast I'm like oh my gosh it's September 1st you get like you get so excited for to do new seasonal things sure um and and fab fit fun is so perfect for like getting you into all the sort of things that you need during those seasons. So one of my, especially because it's delivered four times a year, so it is very seasonally based. Yeah. Um, but one of my favorite things that I got from my FabFitFun box was my Alfred's Tea teapot. I love Alfred's Tea so much. Um, and the teapot cute. I got is absolutely adorable. Um, I need to like stock up on some really pretty loose leaf teas, put them in there, um, and get ready for uh, for that fall weather. It so it also has amazing and here's the thing I love full size so they had yes. um, two Glam Glow bubble sheet masks and amazing I pu- I put one on immediately because I was like oh like I was so excited my face had instantly I could sense a change yeah so I put fun. mine on and I was like it's funny um, I was like in bed watching like a movie in the morning John and I were just like in there having like our coffee tea whatever and I put mine on. Um, and I walked in, like when you put it on, it's like just black right off the bat. Yeah. And I didn't realize that the bubbles come out the way that they do. So I went into the bathroom and I was like, oh my gosh. Cause it looked like I had this like yeah. furry bubbly face. It was so cool. Yeah. It's very, absolutely very incredible. Cool. And then they have the, um, the face cleanser, which I've been using and have not stopped using. It's so amazing. Um, grown alchemist, which I've heard a lot about. So it was really cool. Oh, to yes. Use them. Yeah, yeah, there's so many great things in this box. It is it is a must. I'm like obsessed and I can't stop yeah. talking about it with everyone. It's really cool. Um, so beyond the, bo- beyond the box, a FabFitFun membership includes um, so many so many different things. I mean, you can uh, pick which Vince Camuto luck tote bag that you want. There's red or black. Um, oh, sorry, black or red desert. Mm-hmm. Um, there's different like brushes. There's a beauty blender. I live and die Buy my beauty blender. Yes. It's amazing. Um, and the total retail value of the fall box is over $275. Easily. Uh, and the, um, yeah. So, I mean, it could be $403 depending on the selection of what you guys get. So for $49.99, you're really, uh, really doing things right. So you guys can sign up for FabFitFun today to get your fall box. The FabFitFun fall box is a limited supply, and these boxes absolutely always 100% sell out. So you guys can use our code REGULAR to get $10 off your first box. Go to FabFitFun.com and sign up and start getting the box for a life well lived. Use promo code REGULAR to get 10 buckaroos off your first box, uh, and that's over $200 for only $39.99. 99 when you save the $10 uh, when you use our promo code. 
So go to fabfitfun.com and use our code REGULAR. Get your 10 bucks off and let's uh, start fall off right. Yeah. It's so nice. It, and I will say it this. It really is. I just noticed a question from Rated R Superstar. Ooh. Okay. And she wow. says, any self-care tips for when you're feeling sad or insecure? And I think it is like taking time for yourself. Yes. And like doing one thing that's like nice that you wouldn't na- normally do. And like sitting down, doing a mask, having a nice long hot shower or bath. Ugh, like A bath, yes. Just like indulging. I know it's like when people say take a bath and you're like, yeah, whatever. But when you really oh, do, it's like exceptional. nice. I'm it's nice. It's nice. You know what another thing I'll say is when you're not like really feeling yourself, you're not feeling so good. For me, and maybe this is just me, if I put my phone away for a little bit and I do some real life stuff and I don't just scroll on my phone. Oh, yeah. And whether it's like, whether you're just on Instagram or you're on Twitter or whatever other websites you have, it's really nice to put down your phone and either have a connection with another person that's in the room or just to like reconnect with yourself in a way instead of like looking at what everyone else is doing um, or focusing on different things. Like I do that with my phone. I'm not even like consciously just being like, ooh, I want to look what everyone's doing. No, me too. You just scroll and look at stuff. And if I, if I look at my phone screen for too long, I actually find it puts me in like a bit of a weird mood. Oh, I got to put yeah. it away. It gives me like anxiety or something well I think it's like a really good test and what I'm trying to do now is um uh check your battery usage and you can see the percentage that you use your battery for and you can see the apps so uh at one point I was like kind of down in the dumps and really feeling a bit foggy and I was using 40 percent of my battery on Instagram just scrolling mindlessly yeah yeah and I was like okay I need to like curb that took it off my phone for a bit like really just like it's fine nothing's gonna change you'll be not missing anything you're not missing anything um yeah and sometimes you just have to be selfish like that you know totally and I don't even think it's being selfish I think it's just like being aware of like I think like the way technology works right now is you feel like you have to be connected to something all the time yes. to like be part of society and that I don't yes. think that's true and the only way that we can combat that is ourselves so step oh my off. god listen Take a break you, here's the thing when you have like you know like right now we're having a lazy